Welcome to another episode of Troopers Corner. Pleased to welcome back our dear friend, Trooper First Class David Peters, who is a public information officer with Troop N in Hazleton. We want to talk about school security this time and the Pennsylvania State Police heavily involved in keeping our children safe. Absolutely. Um, some of the things we do for the uh, community, and that could be not just schools that we that sit in a primary jurisdiction of state police, is we've helped a lot of schools increase their security awareness, um, help them create more uh, feasible emergency plans for a time of crisis, and uh, I've done some workshops and exercises with them so they can better secure their building and, and, and plan uh, for an incident that we obviously hope nothing ever happens. But we've also, since last year, increased our presence in and around schools, whether that be in our coverage area or outside areas. And what I mean by that is driving through parking lots uh, multiple times a day, different schools, as well as possibly stopping in, uh, speaking with administration, things like that. And it's good to keep communicating with the school so that you're aware of any situations that could possibly develop. Absolutely. A lot of information that comes in prior to these types of incidents might be being seen on Facebook or other type of social media, things that if the people get that information, they're not really sure where to go with it. Um, in a lot of cases, they've called law enforcement, and, but in some cases, they've reported to the school. And having that open means of communication with the school, uh, that's going to bring that information to us and maybe we could stop something before it, it happens. Have you had any feedback maybe from parents or even students who maybe are glad to see you there? Uh, yes, we, we get a lot of uh, good feedback in, in some of the exercises that we've been doing with schools. We've, we've tried to include parents and, and students uh, and taking it from their perspective as to how safe do they feel and how parents feel about that. A lot of things you see in these types of situations are uh, a lot of um, uh, chaos afterwards in regards to parents coming to the scene, students fleeing the buildings and going different places. So it's about collectively looking at an incident like that um, and how do we manage it, how do we prevent that, and how do we educate the parents and the students. Well, lastly, um, for anyone out there who might, you know, overhear something or suspect something, what's the best advice for them? Uh, it's, it's the same topic we use when, when uh, you know, for terrorism. See something, say something. You know, if you see something or you don't feel right about it and you think someone's threatening to do anything, it just doesn't have to be a school, shoot up anything or create an act of violence somewhere, please, please report it. Don't, don't dismiss what you feel. If it felt wrong in your gut, it probably isn't right and you should report that. Great advice as always from Trooper David Peters and the Pennsylvania State Police.